The following program is made possible by friends and partners of GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. If you would like Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez to pray for you in his prayer time, kindly send an email to prayer at gabrielfernandezministries.org or visit the daily prayer list section of our website. Connect with us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram where you can receive more inspiring and prophetic content. Simply search for Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez on social media. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I greet you in the name of Jesus. It is another day that God has given us by His grace, and by the grace of God, we have made it through another week. It is Friday, my dear friend, and on Friday, we pray Friday financial prayers, and I know like I know like I know, as we pray today, God is going to give you a divine breakthrough. My dear friend, today I've got two divine points that I want to give you. And as a born-again believer, as you put these two points into practice, there is nothing that will be held back from you. There is no evil that will be able to stand in your life as you put these two points into practice. The first point that every born-again believer must observe is we must continually practice the presence of God. My dear friend, without the presence of God with us, we are useless. And what do I mean by the presence? I mean simply getting closer to God and having God with you, having God the Holy Spirit with you. My dear friend, it is so essential that the Holy Spirit is with us as born-again believers because apart from the Holy Spirit, we become useless. My dear friend, even our ability to read the Word of God becomes useless without the Holy Spirit. Understand and know that the Holy Spirit of God plays a divine function in our life and it is the same or it can be likened to the same kind of function that oxygen plays in our life. In the same way that we need oxygen to survive, we as born-again believers need the Holy Spirit in order to survive. So we must have the Holy Spirit with us. We must practice the presence of God daily. And how can you get into the presence of God? It is very simple, my dear friend. Begin to worship God. Begin by worshiping God. Ask God for more of His presence to be with you. If you have not yet received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it's as simple as asking God. As you have already given your life to Jesus, because you can't receive the Holy Spirit unless you've given your life to Jesus. It's those who are born again believers believing in Jesus Christ as the Son of God. So if you have given your life to Jesus, all you have to do, my dear friend, is call out to God and say, God, I want the Holy Spirit. Give me the Holy Spirit in my life. I ask this in Jesus' name. And continue praying until something happens. If you pray today and nothing happens, then pray it again tomorrow. If nothing happens tomorrow, then pray it again the day after. My dear friend, the kind of faith that produces results with God is the faith that continuously believes until something happens. I'm sure you've heard of the acronym PUSH. Pray until something happens. So if you have given your life to Jesus and you have not yet received the Holy Spirit in your life, then continue praying over and over and over again until you receive the Holy Spirit. And as you receive the Holy Spirit, read the Word of God and let Him teach you. Now the second point that I want to give you so that you can walk in complete breakthrough and complete freedom is practice the Word of God. Take what you read in the Word of God and put it into practice and live holy. These two go together. So it's essential as born again believers that we are not doing the same things that people are doing out there in the world. We need to be the change. We need to be the difference. So even today, my dear friend, as we are praying special prayers so that you can have financial breakthrough, consider these two things. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Take yourself and your device. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. We believe on this channel that when the praises go up, the blessings of God come down and our lives begin to change. Especially when you praise God, the presence of God comes in the place. So even today, it's a start. Begin to practice the presence of God. Seek God and start by praising Him. 
Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. We thank you for another day. We just give you praise. Both myself and my dear friend, we praise you today. We praise you because you are a good God. And we wouldn't even be alive today if it wasn't for you. We thank you for another day that you've given us by your grace, by your divine mercy. We thank you for your grace that is evident and available to us. And we thank you that even today we are receiving from you a fresh touch. We thank you that as we pray special prayers for financial deliverance, for financial breakthrough, we know that you will come through and you will do mighty things. It is another day that you've given us by your grace and by your grace we understand and know that we will make it through. It is not by power nor by might, but it is by your spirit. And we give you praise for this in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, our Lord is gracious. He is merciful. He is a good God and he wants to bless you. You need to understand and know you need to believe it in your mind that God wants to bless you. You need to get to a place where in your heart you are absolutely convinced that God wants to bless you. As you reach this place, my dear friend, you will walk in God's blessing. We walk by faith and not by sight. You must believe. You must believe that God wants to bless you and that opens up the way for Him to bless you. So today, as we are praying special prayers for your finances, I want you to believe and know that God wants to bless you and you will walk in that blessing in the name of Jesus. Now, my dear friend, we're going to go into a time of prayer. I'm going to begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. And even as we go into a time of prayer, my dear friend, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Let your presence come in this place where I'm praying. As I pray along with Evangelist Gabriel, come and touch me today. Help me to seek more of your presence and help me to live holy. I pray this in the name of Jesus. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray that you will bless my dear friend as my dear friend seeks more of your presence and more of your word and more of your power and to live holy. Lord, enable my dear friend to live a life that gives you glory. Because Lord, what effect is it, Lord, if we as born-again believers live the same as those who are in the world? Lord, let us be the salt and light of the world. Let us be the difference. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you that even as we seek you today, whatever is holding back, my dear friend, financially, that thing is being broken now. Lord, right now, release your grace and your mercy that every evil door that the enemy is using to rob from my dear friend will be shut and my dear friend will walk in your breakthrough. Lord, even as my dear friend commits to a lifestyle of seeking your presence, a constant presence lifestyle. Lord, I pray that you will bless my dear friend physically, spiritually and all round, Lord, even intellectually, Lord. I pray that you will bless my dear friend and open up the way for my dear friend to make progress. Lord, I pray that you will raise up my dear friend as a leader, someone who will be the change, someone who will bring the difference that is required divinely. I pray this in Jesus mighty name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, as I said that, God is going to bless you. Wherever there's been any hindrances in your life, may the grace of God go before you and remove all those hindrances. May the power of the Holy Spirit be with you, now and forevermore, even as you commit to live a life that gives God glory. In the name of Jesus, Amen and Amen. My dear friend, in saying that, we come to the end of this video. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.